Hello everyone, this is Turia from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Saturday the 16th of March 2019. This is for the collective, this is for all signs. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to go ahead and get all of the cards laid out, you guys. And then we will go over each one of them. I am using the messages from your uh, spirit animal uh, guides along with the psychic tarot and I will be pulling from the archangel messages as well as I'm doing the tarot reading with the steampunk and then at the end of the reading I will also be pulling a da daily positive thoughts and affirmation authority coming through here very nice all right. And you guys, I do weekly and monthly videos as well. If you'd like to go and check those out, that would be awesome. Spread your wings. Wow, this is significant. I believe we had that yesterday. So, awesome. Love that energy. All right. Let's go ahead and let's see what... Tarot has for us today. Thank you, Spirit. One more. All right. We're ready. All right, you guys. We have two of swords. Knight of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Let's go ahead and start right here with Authority coming through here this is a very powerful and strong energy uh, this is about being assertive um, this can also be uh, you starting new projects where there's going to be stability and growth as well I feel like uh, with this card coming through today there's a lot of people that are in control over their life um, they've grabbed the wheel um, you know, and they're they're driving their desires and they're moving forward successfully. So it's very positive, you guys. Now we have the peacock spirit guide coming through here, and it says, "Let yourself stand out and be noticed." Very interesting because we have authority here, and this is usually a, a boss or somebody that is over others that has a lot of a lot of authority this could be also a mentor somebody that is very noticed okay he's uh acknowledged all right people know who this person is when they see them okay or they hear their name and i feel like with the peacock coming out here let yourself stand out and be noticed you know stand in your power stand in control in authority today it's going to be very uh strong for you uh, very important okay you guys you might uh, be coming across a new job or meeting people that are very in that could influence you in a very successful way so make it have yourself stand out uh, um, you know and show what you are made of is coming out very strongly now I believe we had this yesterday as well spread your wings Archangel Ariel do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar so you guys, all of these cards are are telling you you're on point right now. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to hold some type of authority or control or power. And it's time for you to shine. I, I'm getting that with this peacock as well. Let your light shine today, today, you guys. It's very important, okay? I feel like your luck is fixing to change as well. Now, we have the Two of Swords clarified by the Knight of Swords. All right, the Two of Swords is needing to make a decision about uh, maybe needing to take the blindfold off. This could have to do with other people not wanting to get involved. 
uh, because you're not wanting to hurt, you know, take sides or hurting one, you know, hurting anyone's feelings. Uh, but this can also leave you feeling repressed or uh, in denial as well. I feel like you are going to take the blindfold off. You're going to make this decision um, with the Knight of Swords coming in here because this is an energy of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. He comes in. Um, he speaks his truth. He doesn't save anyone's feelings. He's very self-assured. He's very knowledgeable. He says what's on his mind, okay? Uh, this could be a message that is needed that you need to make a decision on to tell someone or get the word out. I'm feeling that very strong as well. Um, this is something that is very important and serious, I feel like, to you. I, you know, I don't feel like this is being uh, mean to anyone. I, honestly, I feel like there's something that needs to be said. The, your intentions need to be known, okay, in this situation. And I feel like this is you letting those intentions be known to someone, all right? Now, we have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Wands. The Knight of Cups, this is kind of a, a romance card. Uh, this can be an offer coming in as well. Uh, this is the energy of Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. The Knight of Cups... Um, can represent emotional sensitivity, uh, being very temperamental. Uh, this offer, you know, this may be you needing to stand your ground with an offer uh, that somebody has made to you. Uh, that's coming in very strongly as well, you guys. You may need to uh, establish uh, boundaries here between you and someone else is what I'm getting as well. Um, this does not have to necessarily be romantic. This can be an, uh, a gift of love from the universe as well, a cup of love. Uh, being able to help you understand how other people may feel in a situation. But this is clarified by the Nine of Wands. This is perseverance. I love the Nine of Wands. To me, it is a, a victory card in, in its own right because this is represents strength. This is represents you've gathered all of those wands. Yeah, you may be tired, but you're at the, you know, you're at the end. You can persevere and move forward and finish this cycle. So I feel like for many of you, you have a heavy load, a heavy burden. Um, I feel like it involves communication with others. Um, you could be a boss. You could be over people. And you may have to, you know, just be frank and speak up and, but you are doing it in a very respectful manner, I feel like. Whatever needs to be said to others, you're respectful about it. You take their uh, emotional sensitivity into uh, consideration. And you're not rude or uh, you're very respectful. That's what I'm getting from this. And it, it's going to help you. It's gonna, that's something that's going to help you in the uh, long run here. We have the King of Cups coming up here at the end. This is, again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I love the King of Cups. This is somebody that represents, you know, stability. He's very generous. He has a lot of knowledge, wisdom. Um, this is somebody that can be very supportive. This can be a figure that is a role model, um, a mother, father figure, somebody who cares about the people that are around him. But what's important to recognize with this energy is that he is in complete control over his emotions. So I really do feel like there was some type of uh, incident or situation that, you know, it could have been the other person maybe getting lippy, smart, or rude. And uh, you had to take a step back and uh, before you come back into it. Uh, I feel like there was a clearing of the mind that needed to take place. And, and I feel like, you know, this is something you feel it weighs heavy on you. Um, this very well could be people that you work with. This is somebody that, you know, I feel like you're having, uh, you're not agreeing on something or, you know, they're not doing what they need to be doing or what you're telling them to do. And it could be causing some type of conflict, but you bounce back. And you let it be known that you understand where they're coming from, um, 100%. But this is this is the way it is. 
this is how it has to be done so let's move forward and i feel like you emotionally have your have this whole situation under wrap today now with the will of fortune coming through here clarifying that king for many of us there is a change of luck in the air you guys this is riding the wheel of destiny i love this card this is taking chances this is you know riding the wheel um you know going with the nudges and and it's best to ride it instead go of going against it and what i'm seeing here whoever i'm speaking to you are in control of your destiny and you you you're aware of this you know this you're riding the wheel and i feel like because since you've been going with it and not against it it's all fixing to change for you where there has been burdensome times or troubles you are going to have a change of luck where you're going to be able to move forward in on your path and it's going to be it's in your favor you are riding the wheel of destiny here and your luck is about to change uh it's because i feel like you are true whoever i'm speaking to you are very powerful you show your authority but you don't belittle others you are balanced in the work that you do now I do feel like for many of you, this is a time to, you know, not to hold back. You know, I feel like your angels are saying the timing is perfect. It's time to soar. You are ready to let your light shine. You are ready to stand out, to be noticed. You do have this authority and power within yourself. For some of you, you could be fixing to uh, get a promotion. And I mean, this is, I feel like a very nice one. Um you know this is going to be different for everyone I, I just feel like how you handle situations all reflects back to how you ride this wheel of destiny and how the you know luck is coming in for you because you've done it in a mature way you have done it in a way where you have respect from others you guys all right, let's go ahead and let's see what the uh, daily positive thoughts and affirmations have for us today. Very nice reading, you guys. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I have the strength and wisdom to face any challenge before me. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And you can persevere and you can move forward. I feel like that's why this wheel of luck, this wheel of destiny is moving in your favor. Because you handle yourself in a mature way. And you know what you can do, you guys. Keep it up. This is very nice. Alright, I love you guys. Please leave me comments. I always read them all. Let me know how this resonates with you. Good luck to you. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.